Another example, as you can see here, an individual may have a Medicare Advantage plan, which is a network policy, and for one or more different reasons, they are losing that coverage. That inc could include moving, or it could be that the Medicare Advantage plan has decided no longer to offer that plan in their area. If this is the case, then this individual also has a guaranteed issue right, and they can get a Medicare Supplement Plan F without answering any health questions. But if that individual wants a Plan G, they will have to go through underwriting and answer health questions and get approved. Now, why is this important to you? The reason why this is more important to you, because if you are in a group of individuals and your rates in the future depend on the claims that are experienced by everyone in your group, it's better for you to have healthy people join your group as compared to those who may have some health challenges. So therefore, if you are on a Plan F, it's possible if you stay on the Plan F for a few years in a row, there are considerable number of individuals who are joining your plan that may have higher claims than someone else who might decide to get on a Plan G. So if, on the other hand, you do have a Plan G and individuals are joining your group who have had to go through underwriting, who have had to answer some health questions and may be a little healthier, that's good for you because they will be paying into the system and they may not uh, be taking out of the system in the um, area of claims as much as an individual who has had to go to a Plan F. So this is a trend that we started to see over time, individuals that we put on a Plan F compared to those who put on a Plan G, their percentage increases were higher.